Hey everybody, this is John Ziemba here, and in this video we'll show you how to activate smart plans and then how to add smart plans to specific contacts. And we'll actually cover how to add the birthday smart plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by actually creating a contact in here. And uh, when I do this, um, I'm just going to add a name in here. I'm going to add an email, a phone number. We'll do a, a tag, and in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add More Information, and I'm going to add some additional contact information in the About section. So I'm going to add a birthday. Okay, now you don't have to add a year in for the birthday, so I'm just going to add in that, add in the birthday, and I'm going to click Create, and then this will add in a birthday for that contact. Now to get started with Smart Plans, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to smart the smart plans icon and we can find that by clicking the red kw and then seeing it's the fourth option down once we click on smart plans if we have never done this if we have never done this what we'll need to do is we'll need to click on library and what i would suggest you do is to walk through the smart plan kelly guide this will make sure that your smart plans are set up and that all the information that from your marketing profile is correct so as you can go as you'll see is once i click on that i'm just scrolling all the way through this and i'm just going to click on start and it's going to walk me through the options here and um, show me what is going to what this information should be pulling from my marketing profile so i just click next as needed and then i'm just going to go through here if i needed to update anything or if i had anything blank or incorrect it's going to prompt me to fill in that um, information here okay so you can see we've configured the information we have the email configured here if i have twilio i can configure it i'm just going to click continue and in this case, I'm just going to click the next here to just get all the way through this because I want to show you the next option. So I'm just clicking through that. I clicked, I'm back out here. I've run the Kelly guide here. And now I'm actually going to go back into smart plans because what you might see is you may or may not have items in your library if you've done this before. But what you'll need to do is you'll need to actually add that smart plan to your library. So you can see right here where i have the monthly uh this is promote my app right here right so if i click on promote my app or in this case the birthday smart plan it is now going to so i already have this so i'm going to say my birthday we'll call this number two because i already have the smart plan it will add these smart plans to my library or to my personal library so when i click on my smart plans what you'll see is i have the my promote my app and my birthday number two now, to order, order to activate it, there's a couple different ways to do it. If I have a lot of different people that I want to do it, I can bulk select people and then click um, the bulk action uh, menu item here and then click <clears throat> add to smart plan down here. Okay, that will add everybody to a smart plan for that. And if I don't, it will prompt me to add their, um, their birthday in there. So it'll add a task saying to find their birthday. Now, if I look for a specific person, I can click on their name and then I can come over to smart plans on the right hand side, click add to smart plan. And now I can add the birthday smart plan that I just added. And once I do that, you'll see the request is there. It's taken a little bit of uh, delay here. If I hit refresh, now you will see that that smart plan has been added to that person. When I click on that smart plan, um, it'll, or when I click on smart plans over here, it'll show me my smart plans. And if I click on the down arrow, it will tell me the different uh, um, items that are in the smart plan. Now, the smart, the birthday smart plan um, operates a little bit different, so it's actually taking the birth date as the last task and backtracking from there. So it operates a little bit different um, than the typical smart plan, but that's how you would set it up for your uh, clients. 